Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get all the Kodi devices in your house synced up. Um, if you're like me, I have a Kodi device on my main floor, one in my basement, and every time I watch my personal library of television shows, uh, let's say I stop halfway through and I go down to the basement, it's kind of me starting all over again from finding out where I stopped. Or let's say I finish watching something, it doesn't sync everything up to tell me what I've watched, what I haven't. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install MB Media Server. Now I'm going to be using the server on my QNAP um, NAS. Um, you could go to to MB's website and download it for your Windows box if you want. Um, it's up to you. But for now, let's get started. So we're just going to go into our App Center here. And then we're going to go down to entertainment and here you will see MB. So this will take a few moments to download and install. Okay, MB has now been installed and we're going to be opening it up for the first time. Welcome to MB. Quick start guide. This guide will help you through the setup process. It's fine, English. Built in support for user profiles. Okay, that's all fine. I don't have an MB account, so I'm not going to other crane ones. Set up your media libraries. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off is with TV shows. Then we'll hit add. Then we'll hit OK. And now I'm going to do some movies here. And this one here. So right now, the content that is synced up will be for the for this database is going to be movies, TV shows, and music. I believe they don't support any other option right now. Okay, and um, now we got my three sources: movies, music, TV. I'll just hit next. Download our work and me metadata from internet. Yeah, I think I'll just put a save artwork and metadata into media folders. Let's go change this to my region here. I don't have any tuner, so I'm just going to hit skip here. And then I accept the terms. And now we're done. So I'll just log in, and here we go. Um, let's take a look at my library. So right now it's doing a scan, so it's progressing right there. And I believe this should take some time. Let's just take a look at this option here with this. I guess this is just uh, new things that have happened with it. Metadata. I don't do subtitles. So I'm assuming this scan is going to take a while. My library is pretty big. Um, the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to have to go to our Kodi boxes and we're going to have to add the source for the MB repository so we could actually download the client. And once we install that client, what should happen is it should find this media server and then all the databases to sync up. So um, the next part of the video is coming up next and it'll be on the Kodi box. It'll be a fresh clean box. Okay guys, here I am on my clean install of Kodi. Uh, just know I'm doing it as a clean install, but you could just 
attach it to what you currently have. So um, the first things we're going to do is we're going to add the MB repository and then we're going to actually install the MB add-on. So let's get started. We're going to go to system as usual and then go to file manager and then we're going to go to add source. And then for the media location, we're going to choose where it says none and change that to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Cody MB dot media. And then we'll just hit OK. We're sorry, done. And then we'll give it a name. We'll just call it MB. And then we'll just hit OK. Now that the source has been Placed, we could go back and go back to system, add-ons, install from zip, and there we see MB. And what we'll want to do is we'll want to choose repository MB Cody. And now that the repository has been installed, we'll now install from the repository. So go to Kodi MB add-ons, video add-ons, and then we'll choose MB and hit install. And once it en enables it, we should hopefully see it saying, oh, there we go. Proceed with the following server. And that is my MB server. So I'm going to just say yes. And then that's going to be the credentials I'm going to use. And caution, if you choose native modes, certain MB features will be missing, such as MB Cinema, Direct Stream, Transcode Options, and Parental Access. Um, I'm just going to leave it as default, as add-on. Uh, do you want an MB Music Library? Do you want to disable it? No. Direct Stream Library, select this option if the music will be accessed remotely. No, it won't be accessed remotely, so I'll say no. Okay, so now it's going to be doing the first sync. And as it's doing the first sync, what, we're, what we will want to do is we'll have to add our network credentials in there because since my data is all on a NAS, um, the paths will need to be UNC. So I'm essentially going to put in my credentials so I can access the data. So to do that, you're going to go to your video add-ons and then you're going to go to MB. And then uh, if you're using an Android box, you could long press the enter button and you should get the context menu or you could just press C on a keyboard and go into add-on settings. And you'll want to go to the playback field and then go to network credentials and then just read the message there. Um, what you're going to want to do is put the full path to where all your movies, TV, music shares are located. So in my case, this would be it right here. Hit done. I'm going to choose a username. And we'll hit done there. So now it's just going to be adding. This may take a few minutes to add everything. So I'm just going to pause the video and we'll be back soon. Okay, now MB has finished syncing everything up. And now if I go into my movies, we'll see my entire personal library in here. Don't mind the choice selection. My kids love it. <laughs> um, but that's it. Everything is now going to be able to sync in between all my different Kodi boxes. The watch statuses, um, progression is all going to be in sync now. So this is a really simple way of having a central database, not having to use MySQL or any other kind of database. Um, if you guys need any help setting this up on your QNAP server, if you're struggling with it, just drop me some comments below. I could maybe make a new video. Um, showing you how to do it. So if you like this um, video, just be sure to like it, drop some comments below, like I said earlier. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, and till the next time. Thanks.